So I had the wonderful opportunity of going into the prison system this week and meeting with several inmates. And I work with heroin addiction on a, on a regular basis and I had two different uh, individuals ask me the same question this week. They like talking about spirituality, they like talking about the spirit and healing, but they have a hard time staying focused. So the question I was asked is, okay, I get it, how do I stay focused? So what I want to talk about fairly briefly here is what happens when we try to be spiritual and we do it wrong versus how to do it correctly. I call it religion when it's done wrong and religion when it's done right. In general, when religion is done wrong, it's because we make it behavioral. And people feel guilt and shame about their behaviors. The way that looks is we have a God who's looking down on us and he can feel positive or negative about us based upon whether or not we're doing positive or negative things, right? This uh, frame of reference makes God variable. God can change. He might like us, he might not like us, and it's dependent upon us. If I'm good, God's happy. If I'm not good, God's not happy. That's religion done wrong. That's what happens when we look at behaviors, and we feel shame because of our behaviors, and we judge others because of their behaviors. That is not the way to do this. And that's what gets people who end up in situations, especially like correctional institutions, think God's mad at them. See, that's not God. Religion done correctly is recognizing, because we are supposed to be recognizing that God only does good things. God only loves. God's like the sun, just shining the light, nonstop, independent of what you do. Your job in your good and bad behaviors is to learn how to recognize how everything that God does to you is good. And look, I just drew a cross <laughs> instead of a bless. That works. The fact is it's our job to look at God and everything that we experience is somehow a lesson that he's teaching us, okay? Something he's trying to show us. We experience things, including our own behaviors, and then to experience God's love is to learn how to feel forgiven, to feel the light coming into us. That's spirituality, and that's when a religion is done right. I could give you about a thousand verses to back this up, but I'm just going to hit two real quick. Matthew 7, 21, one of my favorites, not mentioned in church too often. On that day, Jesus says, many will come to me and say, Lord, save me. Lord, let me into the kingdom of heaven. And he says, not everybody's getting into the kingdom of heaven. Because if you come to me and say, Lord, we did so many great works in your name. Didn't we drive out demons in your name? I will say to you, depart from me, I never knew you. That's Jesus saying, get away from me, you person who think you did good works, because you don't know who I am if you think you're going to impress me with your behaviors. We did many great works in your name, depart from me. And then he says stuff like, you wicked doer of lawlessness. That's like harsh. But that's Jesus trying to make the point, do not be bragging about your behaviors. God's not impressed with your behaviors. That's not God. You never knew the Christ if you think, I've improved my behaviors, therefore God likes me now. Spirituality, Paul says, is really from Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Through grace alone ye are saved, not by works, so that no one shall boast. Okay? That's Paul specifically saying, you don't get into the kingdom of heaven by impressing God with your behaviors. He's not worried about your behaviors. He doesn't even need to forgive you because he never got mad at you. Your job while you're here is to learn God's love by recognizing through thick and thin, through your behaviors, through other people's behaviors, that there's only love. All of it, if you want to access the spirit, all of it forgiven, all of it just fine as long as you recognize the grace. Your job is to perceive God correctly. How do you stay focused then? Ask yourself this question all day long. Keep it in the forefront of your mind. What is God trying to show me through this person? What is God trying to show me through this event? What is God trying to show me through my behaviors? It's like a feedback loop. If I don't like my behaviors and I think God doesn't love me now, I just missed it. But if I don't like my behaviors and I'd like to improve them and I actually tap into the spirit and I feel forgiven and I feel mercy and I feel grace, guess what? My behaviors are going to improve. I still want, and we all throughout the world, still want to improve behaviors, but our job in doing that is to perceive God correctly. When we see God correctly as just a loving, non-condemning being of light that's just trying to fill us with the spirit, now we understand Ephesians, through grace alone you are saved. 
There's nothing you need do so that no one shall boast. 